Which team could have to get a bit of a technical foul. Uh oh. He's got to be careful here. I am just talking to him. I did not yell. Big dog slapped with a technical foul. And Cole, of course, worked together in the Alaska camp not too long ago. But the story here, of course, in Alaska, don't despair because they have never lost a quarterfinals matchup. And today, they're going up against Pop Cola. And if you look at the numbers here, it's kind of a bit like Pop Cola. They've never won against Alaska. And if we want to take the numbers, it's the best of Alaska. Well, this is the offensive performance of the two teams. This is head-to-head. He can dominate his matchup against John Ordoño, and he feels controls the tempo of this game. Mahirap ng talunin itong Alaska. Of course, Kinito, we, we have to talk about George Lastimosa. This is the first time he's meeting his former team sa quarterfinals and certainly there is blood in his eyes today. Well, kung may act... ...ng statistic and you talk about statistic, well, George Lastimosa joins us again as part of our Budweiser PBA buddies sa hanay ng Pop Cola. Kasama niya, of course, si Nelson the Bolas Asaitono, laban naman kay Captain Marbel, Kenneth Durendes, and the Hawk, Bong Hawkins. Excellent matchups here. No? Durendes versus Lastimosa. Hawkins against Asaitono. However, we don't know whether these are the matchup that we will see on the floor because Alan Martins in a coach team tone at coach Chot Reyes always likes to look for mismatches. It's possible that Asaitono will slide down to number three, put Loxin number four, so that Loxin faces Hawkins and Asaitono will face a smaller player coming from the Alaska side. Rebounding on strength and pop cola. Mala, marami silang malalaking players sa front line so he's matching up against that size advantage of Pop Cola at ang unang turnover committed by Pop Cola sa larong ito tale of two teams a tale of two coaches it's been a while and this is the opportunity that you don't want to miss samantala ng Alaska they've never lost sa isang quarterfinal sparing there's the jump shot ni Johnny Abarientos three point shot off the bat here the only quarterfinal pairing by a superstar, says Hawkins, and that's the uh, ikang uh, strength ng Alaska. They're few goals to having a lot of players touch the basketball in their upward set. They look for the best possible shot. They help out each other by giving scribbles, playing the half court against Papola. Walang foul, and Edward Vino getting away scot free there. Tutusin kinito ang bench ng Pacola, malalim. Ha? Malalim talaga. Si Henry Fernandez can come off the bench for his offense. At saka yung value partner of using Ali Pico as his next man is that he keeps you rebounding straight. And when he comes in, he's fresh. Ang makakalaban niya, well, puro one-on-one. -on -one, no? They're taking shots on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Hindi kasi nadodobotin si Noli Loxin, but they've got to start moving. Aska, puro galaw. Hindi lamang sa court, kundi sa technology. This is their new... Uh, parang computerized statistics na lumalabas kagad sa kanilang uh, laptop doon at kagad nakikita ng coaching staff kung ano nangyayari ganito. Iba klase rin itong Alaska, no? They are uh, showing the way in terms of uh, information technology. May court. Whiteboard doon. Oh, may parang diagram doon. New technology by laptop. Pop Cola, terrible from the offense, on offensive side. That's one out of ten yata sila. Oo, oh, ang sama. Wala eh, walang gumagalaw, puro one-on-one. -on -one. Ito, as I told you, wala pa rin. Ali Pink gets the offensive rebound. He powers himself to the hole. And yes, that's it. And then one play. Yan ang sinasahid mo ko dito. Fresh legs, fresh energy. And Ali Pink is showing what power is. Too many one-on-one -on -one attempts, taking the shots from the outside. At sabi ko nga kanina, dapat eh, wala naman swapangan. Yan ang one-day swapangan. Slow mo na yan. Replay brought to you by PLDT. Conclusion games, it's at the liberations. Because of defense. Yes. And that's what they've got to show. Alaska, the defense nila. We know again, and he oh. has been delivering. Hindi maabot ni Alip to go one-on-one, -on -one and you don't have an opportunity. Before you know it, bumababa na shot clock mo. No? Tapos, oh. panic time na. You have to take a hurried shot from the outside. Oh, excellent pass. Nalito na sa defense, si Lastimosa. Open shots. It's now a 10-point lead para sa Alaska Milk. Trying to take Pop Cola out of their game immediately, but there's Ali P keeping the fire alive here. Well, no doubt. Well, right now, hindi pa na butula bug si Coach Chok Reyes. Sinagasaan si Wokpis, short stab, and that will drop in. Kanina pa nagpa-flop si Asaitono. Ito, no, halos magkakaparehong puro power forward. Well, ganun nga yun, no? Pero ako naman, parang nakita ko dito kay Coach Chok Reyes. He has defined the roles of each player very well. In fact, kausap ko si Chok, no? Ang sabi niya sa akin, si Noli Loxin, for instance, he wants him to be... Alaska, in this uh, fight against Pop Cola, abante po sila ng pito pagkatapos ng first 12 minutes. Tapos nakita natin kanina, 
Forced into a turnover by the defense. Ali Peek now up against Bong Hawkins. Ito na naman yung post play, no? Everybody punched up with the left side. Lastimosa gets inside Excellent. the hole. Excellent move by Jojo Lastimosa. And partner, nagkaroon ng several... Here's Fernandez going up. Sapal! Super Bulkasil Tapal ni Bots Vino. Tumatakbo ang mga nakapute. Rodney Santos. Oh, yes! From uh, having to have his uh, luck. <laughs> Anima kalahati po sa second quarter. Apat na lamang ang abati ng Alaska. Rodney Santos ang oh, kita yes. na ba What a turn. What a spin for the slasher. Hey, Kevin Ramos is also in the game now. So a lot of players being shuffled now by both coaches. Aliado nasa labas. Kahol. Dapat Izaldi. Turning, spinning, going up. Yes, nice shot. Smooth as silk for Brian Kahol. And the Malakas naman, rebound, mapubulot ni Kahol. Abarientos ulit, aangat, off the glass, oh, finally. Yes, that time, making sure. Santos, pull-up jumper. Parang ang dali ng basket sa Alaska. Napakahirap po. Up against Wokbis, kinakatawan si Wokbis. He goes up, yes. Mas gusto na yung matchup niya against Wokbis eh. Kasi parang mas hindi mobile. Use in which lateral movement. That's right. Kung uh, if he tries to power his way inside uh, for a basket, hindi ko magagawa yun. Ito na naman, si Kenny Durendez. Dati, no? And again, the goal to Ali Peek. Down low. But that's the point that we were making, partner. But if it's down low, nahihirapan siya against Wolfwist. But there's no relocks in. First two. Ito yung ibang mga yeah. player niya sa loob ng court. Get others involved in the offense. Offense. Hey! Like Sinitira niya. Rebound. There's a loose ball. Hey, Wolfwist. Wolfwist, diba? Ito you know, Kitani walked this to referee Bernarte because referee Bernarte also blew his whistle and was going to make a call. And now Tim Cohen trying to ask for some clarification here from referee Tangona. Well, one big action because penalty situation in Alaska and shooting um, situation here for Papola. This is Coach Tim Cohen. I'm going to do a technical foul. Uh oh. He's got to be careful here. I'm just talking to him. Tim Cohen slapped with a technical foul. Ayun, nag-iilip na ang laban. He is fuming. I'm yelling and complaining and that's it. He was considering a seven-point lead. But with these two free throws, Parton, baka bumaba ito sa five. Yes. At may technical pa. May technical pa. So there will be three free throws, not just two. Technical free throw will be taken by Jolas. Another technical here and he's out of the game. Oh, boy. He's out of the game. Pagalawa na yan for Coach Tim Cohn. Oh my gosh. What a development dito. And Fredoy Dengsu, team owner ng Alaska. Up on his feet here as Tim Cohn walks off the floor, off the court now. With his second technical foul, he is thrown out of the game. Half a minute remaining. Amarientos pulls up for the jumper. Yes!